Its stinger is 6.25 mm or about a quarter of an inch in length. That's not very long considering the Asian giant hornet, Vespa mandarina and its varieties, such as the Japanese giant hornet, Vespa mandarina japonica, are the largest hornet species in the world. Asian giant hornet queens are generally around 2 inches or larger, while workers and drones are between 1.6 and 1.8 inches, and their wingspan is generally around 3 inches. All of this is very interesting, but you probably don't care since you're howling in agony from the sting you've just received. Is a white hot pain shooting up your arm? That's par for the course. Asian giant hornets have one of the most painful stings in the world. One Japanese entomologist likened the sting to his leg being hammered with a heated nail. Do you feel dizzy? Blood rushing through your ears? No? Don't roll around on the floor. Panicking won't help, it just disperses the venom through your bloodstream faster. Sit here on the couch. You may be experiencing mild shock. Does your throat feel scratchy? Is it hard to breathe? No? Uh, that's really good. If your throat's closing up and you can't breathe, you're allergic to the venom and going into anaphylactic shock. We'd need to give you an epinephrine injection and get you to a hospital as soon as possible. You should probably still get checked out by a doctor, even if you don't have an allergic reaction. But it's less urgent. Did you know that rather than dying from the venom, the majority of the deaths that occur from Asian giant hornets are either due to an allergic reaction or cardiac arrest? Don't get me wrong, this hornet's venom is very potent and damages the human nervous system. In rare cases, receiving many stings can kill a victim through multiple organ failure. No, don't get up, stay there on the couch. Let me get you some water. I'll grab a marker too so we can track how badly you're swelling. I need you to hold out your arm. Hey, hey, crying is no big deal. No shame, it's a natural reaction when we get hurt. Deep breaths, I'm only drawing a few dots with the marker, I promise I'll be gentle, a few around the puncture wound, and then a few more around where the swelling is now. Wow, it's only been a couple of minutes since you were stung and I can't believe how much that bump is swelling. I brought an ice pack for you too. You can hold it on the sting area for 15 minutes. Give your arm a break for at least 5 minutes before applying the ice pack again. That should help with the hot feeling in your arm. Sorry about the numbness, it'll go away. Eventually. Anyway, back to the pain. There's this crazy but brilliant entomologist, Justin O. Schmidt, who created the Schmidt Sting Pain Index. Basically, he went around allowing himself to be stung by various insects as a way to categorize and compare their stings. During his research, he was stung by 78 insects. Where does the Asian giant hornet rate on Schmidt's pain scale? Actually, it doesn't. Not officially, anyway. Schmidt was never stung by an Asian giant hornet, so he didn't rate it. Other people who have also gone around being stung, seriously, I can't believe what people do for fun these days, say that the Asian giant hornet would be high on the Schmidt pain index, perhaps even scoring the highest rating, a 4. Another insect who also rated a 4 is the bullet ant, which Schmidt described as like walking over flaming charcoal with a 3-inch nail embedded in your heel. Then there's the warrior wasp. Schmidt referred to it as torture. You are chained in the flow of an active volcano. Why did I start this list? Oh, my bad. I thought hearing about the pain scale would make you understand how brave you're being right now. Ok, let's talk about something else. You actually got off quite lucky, and you should be thankful that you were only stung once by a single hornet. Unlike a bee, an Asian giant hornet can sting multiple times without dying. Also, they can release a pheromone to attract other hornets. Yeah, that's right, they call their family to come get in on the action. Gives a new meaning to bringing the pain, eh? <laughs> Anyway, I know you don't feel lucky, but it could have been so much worse. In 2013, in the Shanxi province of central China, there was a high rainfall which produced a lot of vegetation, and as a result, there were also bigger than normal swarms of giant Asian hornets. Over the course of the summer, the swarms killed 42 people and injured another 1,675 in three different cities. Among those attacked, 206 had to receive treatment in hospitals, including dialysis, to help remove the venom and poison from their kidneys. Some of the victims were stung upwards of 30 to 40 times, which means they received about a teaspoon of venom, experienced paralysis, and organ failure. Right, right, I get it, you don't want to hear about death or illness from hornets right now, but you've made it past the crucial 15 minutes with no severe reaction. You're not going to die. Ok, ok, I'll move on to a new topic. I can't believe you ran all the way back to the house after being stung. You should never run from a swarm of Asian giant hornets. They're known to chase people at around 600 feet or about one and a half soccer fields. Next time you're not in a place where you can easily get inside, your best bet is to stand still and let the swarm pass by. Sure, some of them will crawl on you and you'll probably get a few stings, but if you run, you're more likely to be stung more. They can fly up to 25 miles an hour and also go 60 miles in a day. I hear you, there isn't going to be a next time when you get stung, got it. But just in case, trust me, 
The best thing you can do is stay still until the swarm moves on. Ok, so you were just sitting outside quietly drinking coffee and looking at your phone when the hornet stung you? Bummer! Bad luck, I guess. While Asian giant hornets can be territorial and sometimes aggressive, especially during mating season, they don't intentionally seek humans out. However, they can be attracted to sweet smells, alcohol, and human sweat. Asian giant hornets actually tend to like rural areas such as lowland forests. They prefer to nest in trees or holes in the ground, such as those created by tunneling animals. But I guess they nest under buildings and in garages too. They build nests that are about the size and shape of a basketball. And frankly, you're looking pretty good right now. Yeah, I know your face is swollen, but that's probably mainly from crying. By now, the venom delivered in the sting is attacking your nervous system. It contains a mandara toxin. It's also attacking your red blood cells and tissues. In a couple hours, your puncture wound's gonna turn black because of necrosis. You'll probably end up with a gnarly little scar there. No, don't scratch the wound. I, I know it's really itchy, but the bacteria under your fingernails just makes things worse. We should put some antibacterial anti-itch cream on that sting area. Also, you can take an over-the-counter painkiller such as aspirin, but scratching or squeezing the puncture site is definitely a no-no. If you think Asian giant hornets are bad for humans, they're the stuff of nightmares for honeybees. Asian giant hornets eat other insects, their favorite being the honeybee. A hornet scout will fly around and locate a honeybee hive. Then it sprays pheromones to attract its comrades. When a swarm of hornets shows up, the mayhem begins. The hornets murder the honeybees using their enormous mandibles to rip off honeybee heads and legs. A single hornet can decimate about 20 victims a minute. A swarm of around 30 hornets can take out a colony of 30,000 honeybees in a few hours. The honeybees try to fight back by stinging, but their stingers can't pierce the hornet's hard shell. Japanese honeybees have developed another defense against the Japanese giant hornet though, the bee ball. When a hornet scout investigates a hive, the honeybees will surround the intruder and vibrate. The kinetic energy generated can grow hot enough to slowly roast the hornet alive. The heating is very precise too. Japanese giant hornets can withstand heat up to 115 degrees Fahrenheit, and the bee balls can reach 117 degrees Fahrenheit, which is just shy of 118 degrees Fahrenheit that the bees themselves can stand. And in case the heat doesn't kill the hornet, all the same time the crowding bees constrict the hornet and carbon dioxide grows inside the ball. Hornets, in fact all insects, have an open circulatory system, and the bee crowding makes it hard for the hornet to pump blood through its body, which also affects its ability to regulate its temperature. If the hornet scout dies, this prevents the coordinates of the hive from getting out to other hornets. Sure, some worker bees die from the scout attacking them or of being crushed or asphyxiated by the bee ball, but the hive is saved. It's not weird that I know so much about Asian giant hornets. It's taking your mind off the pain, isn't it? So if Japanese giant hornets massacre all the worker bees in a hive, they steal the larvae and they take them back to their nest. If they can't move all the honeybee larvae in one trip, they'll leave hornets behind to guard the hive while they shuttle back and forth. Adult workers then chew the bee larvae into a nutritious paste and feed it to the hornet larvae. The Japanese giant hornet larvae regurgitate a concoction which contains 17 amino acids and serves as a powerful energy drink to be consumed by adult hornets who cannot digest solid protein. This is where hornets get their strength to be able to fly up to 60 miles in a day. As you can imagine, this macabre harvesting kills a lot of honeybees. In a breeding season, each Asian giant hornet hive produces an average of 1,000 to 2,000 offspring. Hey, when you're feeling better, we should go get some of the hornet-based energy drinks. After discovering the hornet's recipe for energy, scientists began producing a synthetic version known as VAM or Vespa Amino Acid Mixture. It's used in sports drinks and as a nutritional energy supplement for athletes. Allegedly, VAM boosts metabolism and burns fat while providing a little extra stamina. A few scientific studies have shown that VAM does increase oxygen intake and burn fat in older women. Other studies have shown that it did better than water to increase the stamina of mice who did swimming exercises. However, in both studies, the sample size was pretty small. As of yet, there's no conclusive scientific proof that VAM-infused products do any good. However, some professional athletes swear by them, including some Japanese Olympic runners. Currently, VAM isn't banned by international sports doping rules. Actually, you can totally get revenge by eating your enemy. There are a couple of dishes that are made with hornets. People eat them fried as snacks. Sorry the thought of eating bugs is so weird for you, they're sustainable and a great source of protein. And I won't mention the other hornet-based dishes, but in case you were wondering, cooking venom denatures it, making the hornet safe to consume. Well, I think your arm isn't going to swell any further. Yeah, I see your whole forearm stiff. The puncture wound's starting to turn purple, but you're looking good. You're breathing normally and you're totally lucid. Once again, it could have been so much worse. It looks like you're getting tired, so why don't you take a nap? 
Holler if you need anything. I'm going to go read up on VAM. I have an idea for a real moneymaker. VAM infused ice cream. It boosts your metabolism and helps you burn fat while you eat it. Isn't it crazy how an insect about the size of your thumb is an apex predator? Are you interested in learning about other animals that you'd prefer to stay far away from? Check out our video for the 10 most venomous animals here. Or if you ever wondered what the strongest animals in the world are, you'll like this video.